हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट विद मिस्टर अंशुमन नियोगी करेंटली ही इज परसुइंग एम टेक फ्रॉम आईआईटी गुवाहाटी इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू वेरी इंफॉर्मेटली स्पेशली फॉर द मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम आईआईटी गुवाहाटी ही हैज गॉट प्लेसमेंट इन मर्सिडीज बेंज इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड सो टुडे वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम हिम about the selection process interview process their difficulty level future scope of mechanical engineering student and many more so let us start thank you ankshuman for joining with us today yeah, thank you for taking me on board uh, welcome to our channel and foundation uh, first of all uh, you tell us uh, about yourself uh, your native place and uh, academic background and career journey till today okay so my name is ankshuman yogi and i have done my pe from jorhat engineering college which is in assam uh after that i decided to pursue mtech uh, from iit guwahati in fluid and thermal engineering specialization okay. mm -hmm. so if i now talk about my career it was not very smooth actually uh, like uh, i i was always perceived uh, apply for core engineering jobs as i was interested in mechanical but uh, for my luck i don't know like i when a psu comes it always takes uh, to 10th rank but i was always the 11th so that time i was very sad and always wanted to go for like core companies not like software development or fmcg so i decided to uh, go for gate and apply for masters and hopefully like uh, luckily and i am here at iit guwahati so this was my journey ओके मींस सो यू आर ऑलवेज द 11th पर्सन ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ यू आर नो नाउ यू आर ऑन आईआईटी गुवाहाटी एंड ऑन ऑलरेडी गॉट प्लेस्ड सो दैट इज वेरी गुड सो प्रेजेंटली यू आर परसुइंग एमटेक एंड गॉट प्लेस्ड सो वेयर यू हैव गॉट प्लेस्ड द वेयर इज द पोस्टिंग यू हैव गॉट या सो माय पोस्टिंग विल बी इन बेंगलोर एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन मे बी इन वाइटफील्ड so it is a posh area here yeah. okay. okay so how you have got selected what is the selection process you tell in detail so most of the companies uh, have a common selection procedure they have like uh, first at three levels they are selecting like they are first uh, in, uh, first is the written test followed by two rounds of interviews okay so the first will be technical and the second will be hr okay so if you have qualified for the written then you can uh, uh, for the interviews so this is the uh, core for the core profiles sometimes it ranges like some companies may prefer gd and all but mostly this is the criteria for selection criteria okay so you have given the written test okay yes so in written test what type of questions are there so as per for the campus placements mostly the written test are uh from uh, the gate subjects which i have prepared mm. so if you if i am from mechanical so my uh, questions were from mechanical a uh, simple uh, gate one mark one mark questions and all but sometimes for like companies like uh, mercedes siemens ge mm. they prefer some good level questions also so they put some esc level good questions two mark questions okay okay but for most of the core, core companies they uh, are very simple questions like you get a limited amount of time and that time you have to answer those one mark questions and score uh, a minimum marks to get shortlisted for the interview okay it means uh, the pattern is for the the where the gates level they are following okay gate and the gate they pattern are. they are following so yes. and some companies are also following the esc pattern engineering service yeah some good some... companies they are also okay so now there is two round of interview you have told yes so in first round that is technical round okay so in technical round what type of question they have asked you so uh, it varies from companies to companies okay so the r and d companies mostly focus on your projects hmm. and whatever you have written in the cvs so the project will be like for uh, mostly design or thermal specialization they choose hmm. so if you are from thermal specialization and you have opted for cfd hmm. then they will ask from uh, cfd computational fluid dynamics uh, questions hmm. and if you are from design and you have fem subjects 
then ask for finite element questions vibration questions those type of questions but first you have to uh, clearly explain your project and why you are doing so what is the scopes of it mm. and later on they comes to the basic of engineering the mechanical engineering they ask in general questions so it depends varies from companies to companies but mostly it will be on your project your cvs your subjects and basics of mechanical okay so basics you have told from the mechanical so you are from thermal background so the basics also related to thermal or from everywhere? no it can be anything it can be anything. okay so mainly it deals with the uh, which project you are doing and yes. related to that some advanced level question or basic level question and yes. after that they will go into the basics of the mechanical engineering yes that is the you got it right yes okay so now you have given the interview so what do you feel it is difficult it was moderate it was easy what type of i can say it was easy it was very difficult for me like i wasn't expecting like uh, that i will be selected like there were very tough questions yes i have given most of the answers hmm. but i haven't given some of the answers too like so i, I don't know for sure what was the criteria for them like uh, most of the question i have answered but they prefer confidence i think how you are approaching the questions even if you don't get the answer you, your approach will be seen like you are getting to the answer or not closer to the answer or not. Oh, so those are very matters. important. Yeah, approach, approach matters. matters. They don't ask like direct question. What is heat transfer? Like that question, don't ask. They ask like boundary layer, make boundary layer, come to the equations oh. and all. So they have they approach are, question. Okay, they are testing your concept and application build. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. okay. For which job profile you have got your offer? Mine is thermal, uh, CFD simulations in thermal engine. So uh, in uh, in company uh, in which sub profile you uh, will go for research only there? Yeah, research only. R and D job. It is. R and D job. R and D job. Is. Okay, that, that is, is a very good. So for for that uh, the job profile, what are the basic skills that are required for that profile? Yeah. So if you are from thermal background, mostly uh, you will be needing CFD. Okay. And uh, some knowledge of fluid dynamics and all. But if you are from design. You will be uh, needing uh, some uh, good knowledge of FEM, which is finite element analysis. Uh, then applications of MATLAB and all those softwares will be necessary. Uh, so these are the basics criteria. And uh, uh, that you are working on the CFD problem. So you have used any software, you know any software? Yes, yes. I have used uh, console and little bit of open source software basics okay so these two software you know so for yeah, that yeah, also they have asked you question uh yeah like some schemes uh, they have asked <coughs> which you are applying for your projects and because uh, these schemes vary from software to software so they may not be knowing and so they were like uh, telling me to uh, like draw and explain how that scheme works and all so they may ask anything so, uh, do you uh, ever of anything uh, about the working environment there? What is their working hours? So uh, I think uh, it's uh, uh, five five days a week. Uh, you get two or two days holiday, mm -hmm. and the work uh, culture is like from ten to ten to four, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but it varies from your uh, like job profile and your work nature. But it's still environment. As told by my seniors, it's chill. You okay. get flexibility to work in any fields, any uh, environment. Mm -hmm. You get work from home opportunities also. Okay, so you have got this feedback from your senior. Yeah, I've got this feedback. From my okay, senior. so one, it is a very important, but not so much important for the uh, the aspirants. But you can tell this average package means what they are not about this company. So. If you are a, you are MTech from IT or so every package what they are getting there. Like uh, the exact pack package I cannot tell, but I think okay. it is uh, in the range of good PSUs. What good PSU offer? Okay. In that range only they are offering the package. Okay, that is very good. You will not be means uh, disliked by the package. Only. Okay, so okay, no problem.
So uh, you have already done BTEC, MTEC, and now you have placed in good uh, company. So what do you think, uh, what are the scopes after uh, uh, having graduated from mechanical engineering branch? Because nowadays people are telling that mechanical engineering branch is going to dilute it in very soon. So uh, what do you think about this? Uh, like I would like to disagree with this uh, point because uh, from like uh, mechanical engineering is very much needed in every field and it's like uh, nowadays like uh, EV cars are there then like a big wind turbines and they are going for renewable energy places so there are many opportunities for mechanical engineering but you have mm -hmm. to be updated like you have to know some uh, AI and all stuffs mm -hmm. they, you have to know some good uh, technical softwares which can be helping those projects so it's never uh, end to any like branch uh, you have to like pursue for and uh, be updated for, uh, what the latest technology and wants the company so you have to be updated with those okay so one thing you have told that uh, there is a vast scope it will not going to be in May People are thinking that uh, mechanical will going to be in the, after some <laughs> some years, but there is vast scope. Still, you have to update with the another course means you have to interdisciplinary. You have to work. Yeah, interdisciplinary. That... You have to work, mm. and you have to develop the research aptitude to like think out of the box and uh, like work to the problem to fulfill it. If that is your approach, then you can get anywhere. Get okay. Anywhere. So one thing uh, you have got if you uh, you have got about this feedback or not I don't know but uh, you know that uh, suppose you are getting posting there so you can refer anyone uh, maybe oh, I have heard okay. that it is possible I don't and know. one important very important question initially you have told that uh, you are not preferring uh, software development job in software job so what is the reason why you are not preferring like uh, from the starting like when i was studying in uh, uh, like my btech there was there was not much scope for software development that's for okay. sure but I, it's not like that i don't know software development i like the software uh, uh, tools and i have studied software and for iits you must know coding and data science related things i have prepared parallelly those things also but my interest was to apply in mechanical all the things in mechanical, not okay. uh, fully uh, going for the software. So if it is needed in company that you have to go for with uh, software for anything that I can learn and that I can apply. But my uh, main aim was having okay. research and uh, code. Okay. So one thing uh, you will see that uh, what is happening, you know, so uh, suppose you are working in mechanical and mercedes benz so after uh, taking means after you uh, get experience there so anytime you can go in software only you need uh, you have to learn some uh, skills basic uh, skills like uh, coding something then okay, anytime you can go in software so it is the best decision from my point of view you have done uh, so till now uh, you have uh, progressed in your uh, journey uh, very uh, exponentially uh, so what is your future uh, future plan after uh, having this job after uh, having job what is your future plan like currently i haven't thought of something i like to chill for some days <laughs> and when i go to the city and bangalore explore new places those kind of things only in my mind and work okay. for the company do you have things. any plan to do phd after uh, during job or after uh, with parallel I haven't thought of it yet. Oh, you have not thought. Eh? Okay, so your plan is to first you will chill there, you will do yeah. job and comfortably you explore will live there. Places. You will explore the places. Uh, that is very good. So it is very best thing you are doing. So now we are we have come to the last point. So already you have got placement, and uh, now you know also the scope. Eh? in mechanical engineering so what is the best suggestion you can uh, give to the aspirants uh, like i have seen many aspirants who are not opting for masters they think mm -hmm. like all the options die after btech only uh, but I, I i i am not agreeing with this i think like you have you should go for like good colleges of tier one and tier two because the most 
important thing today is exposure so if you come to good colleges you get good exposure and you can like explore what opportunities are there like some uh, students from mechanical go to product design some students can go for ms in good colleges some students can go for data analytics and all they come here and then they know like they how many opportunities there was but they were earlier not aware of it so i think you should explore okay so not so thing like you take is the end you are suggesting to the students you should explore and you definitely you should opt for the master degree yeah that is your suggestion so that is very good and thank you very much uh, mr ranjuman for giving the uh, valuable information and also motivating the mechanical engineering students so now they are they are demotivated so they are thinking no, no, they will not, not get job in the code company so many students have the dream here also this college many students have the dream to get the in code company so they are now demotivated but you have given the very much valuable information the difficulty level what are the uh, difficulty level in the interview and what is the selection process so actually it will also differ from the college to college but it will be the general thing the interview what you have told it will be the general everywhere so that is the best thing you have done and thank you for joining with us and interacting with us thank, thank you. you thank you thank you sir